Hello, in this video we're going to take a look at how to complete question 1 of the EDI sample on-screen assessment A for level 2 maths. So if you click on begin, you can see question 1. Now if you're not sure how to access this on-screen sample assessment, which can be used um, without any login details on EDI, you can watch another video that I did uh, on, on how to access this. So if you're not sure how to access it, watch that video and it'll take you straight to this. So in this video we're going to take a look at how to complete this question. So first of all, the task says you're organising a trip to the London Eye this month. 45 students and 5 teachers will be going. So there's your first little piece of information. The question is just here. So who would you buy your tickets from? That's the question. We've got to justify our answer using mathematical data to get all of the marks. I've got to show all of our working. Now, as you can see, there are 13 marks available for this question, which means it's quite a quite a large question. There are only 50 marks available for the whole assessment, so this, this is actually worth 26% of the whole assessment. So it's going to have quite a few stages in there. So first of all, who would you buy your tickets from? Now, who would you buy your tickets from is, is a bit of an open question, but... Really what that means is, in this case, I'm going to say I'm going to buy the tickets from the cheapest uh, cheapest one. So mathematical data that I'm going to show there is, is I'm going to work out how much it's going to cost for each of these different companies. I'm going to label it up properly, see who's the cheapest, and then I'm going to decide after that. So if we get straight on with UK tours, <clears throat> I'm going to consider first. So in my working out area, I'm going to put in UK tours. Just making it clear that this, this is the calculation that I'm going to do first. So let's have a look how much this may cost. So London Eye ticket, so if I just click to enlarge the image, you can see there it's £17 for students and it's £9.50, sorry, £17 for teachers, £9.50 for students with a special offer of a third off all of the prices this month. So first of all then, if it's £17 for teachers, and five teachers will be going. I'm going to load up my calculator to help me with this. So 17 lots of five. I'm going to type into my calculator as 17 times five equals. Okay, so that's the first part of my calculation. So I'm going to insert that. And I'm just going to label up that calculation to be cost for teachers. Making it as clear as possible. And then I may even just put a pound sign there. Oh, that's pretty clear. So that's how much it will cost for the teachers on this trip with that company. So if I just come down, I'll I'll work out next the cost for the students. So we've got 45 students going at £9.50. So we're going to have 45 lots of £9.50. Which I'm going to type in my calculator like that. Press equals and that's going to return me £427.50, so I'll click it on insert at each stage and I'll just put a pound sign in there. Put a zero on at the end as well just to make sure that looks a little bit more like currency, so the pence at the end. So that's the cost for teachers and students. So if I total that up before we actually work out what the special offer price is, we're going to do £427.50. Add 85 equals, and I'm going to insert that. So I'll put the cost for all attending. So that, that's clear. I'll put my pound sign in there. And we'll make sure that's got zero on as well, so it looks like currency. So that's the total. Now the special offer that we've not considered yet is that there are a third off all prices this month. So what we're going to do, we're going to work out, I'm going to work out a third of it to start with. So now to work out a fraction of an amount. So a third of the total is going to be something like this. Let's say we've got £512.50. Okay. So to work out the fraction of any number, if we remember back to the, the video that I did on, on working out fractions of numbers, we divide our number by the bottom number of the fraction, which is the 3, so I'm going to divide it by 3, equals 
and I'm going to insert that and if we had multiple sections of fractions we would times this answer by the top number of the fraction but in this case it's just one so one times 170 is 170 so that's how we work out a third of 512 so I'm going to put that in there and I'm just going to take off these threes at the end because I'm just going to round it to the, the amount of pence so if I that's if that's a third of the amount and it's a third off all prices we're just going to take our 512 pounds 50 and we're going to take away 170 pounds and 83 pence and that's going to give us 341 pounds 67 and I'm going to insert that and let's just make it a little clearer we'll take it down a line and we'll put um, total price from UK tours is there we go so there we go so total price from UK tours is £341.67 I think that's pretty clear at each stage what, what we've done just there so if we come further down and then we're going to label up Merlin Entertainment. I'll do Merlin Entertainment next. So we've got Merlin Entertainment. Okay. So the teacher's price for Merlin Entertainment is £17.20 and the student's price is £9.10. And then we've got 30% off all of those prices to work out. So first of all, I'm going to get my total again like I did in the, in the first example. So we've got five teachers, so let me do cost for teachers, and it's £17.20, so 17.2, multiplied by 5 equals 86, and we'll insert that just there. I'm just going to pop on my pound sign. Cost for students then. So the cost for the students is 45 students at £9.10. So we want 45 lots of £9.10 equals. I'm going to insert that one as well. And I'm just going to put my pound sign on and I'm going to put a stick a zero on there so we can see that that's currency. So that's the cost for the students. I'm going to add those together. So costs for students teachers which is going to be these added together so 409 pounds 50 add 86 pounds equals I'm going to insert that if anything uh, seems to disappear off the screen it will be there if you just scroll down in your working out box and I'm going to put my pound sign on there as well. That layout's clear enough there. So that's the total for the students and teachers before we've done the special offer. Now we have 30% off all prices this month so we need to work out our 30% of this and then we can take that off. So 30% of the price Okay, so if we remember back to, I'm just going to load up my uh, my whiteboard and show you my little bit of working out again for this. If we think back 